Hey, I'm Ryan, CEO of KHB Construction. Today, we wanna to talk about your next bathroom remodel in Modesto, California, some of the criteria you should be vetting your contractors with, as well as price, timelines, process, the whole thing about your next bathroom remodel. First things first, who should you hire to do your bathroom remodel? Obviously, I'm a little bit partial. We are based in Modesto and Turlock, so I really hope you give us a shot to bid your bathroom out. But there are certain criteria points that you should be looking for as a homeowner to make sure you're getting the best fit of a contracting company for your next bathroom remodel. A big piece of criteria in your decision in choosing a contractor comes down to one of the most simple aspects of a company. Do they have a proprietary or proven process to make sure that your bathroom goes off without a hitch? This is one of the first questions you should be asking potential contractors that you're looking at. If they have a proven process, most likely they are a quality contractor that is based around customer experience, customer value. Another piece of criteria you should be looking for with your contractors in Modesto is referrals. And the referrals is gonna be three to five previous bathroom projects that are at a similar price point and similar style to what you're looking for. Ask your contractor to give you the name, number, and some photos of that project so you can reach out to that homeowner, talk about their experience, the timeline of that project, if it stayed within budget or if there was any change orders, anything of that nature. Very important to get referrals from your contractor. With all of the bathrooms we have performed in Modesto, California, I've came across a few unique stories and some horror stories about remodeling that I'm sure you've experienced yourself or you know someone who has. Remodeling has a horrible stigma of taking way too long, never staying within budget, uh, horrible communication with the contracting company, and we came across a few bathrooms where the homeowner did not go through the criteria we just talked about of vetting the contractor properly, had a horrible experience with a less than par finished product, and then they call us and we come in and we demo and renovate the whole thing again, sometimes within like six months of that project being completed. So when you're looking for contractors, please meet the criteria that we're talking about at a minimum of making sure they have a process and checking references before you move forward. And with all that said, the biggest thing here and one of the biggest reasons you might be looking at this video is how much does a bathroom cost? What should I expect as a baseline cost for a bathroom transformation? And with that, there's a huge variance there. There is always a baseline cost, and for us at KHB Construction, that's around $35,000 to $40,000 for a smaller hall bathroom. The reason bathrooms are so expensive and they start off at such a high threshold of price is just due to all of the locations that need to be updated or fixed, specifically plumbing. So in a bathroom, you have a shower, a toilet, a single vanity at a minimum, all of those locations also have waste and two water lines coming in. That is a lot of plumbing. And so if we're moving things around or if we're just getting a fixture for each one of those spaces, it is very inherently costly just due to that reason. So when I say the baseline is $35,000, $40,000, that is here in 2022, uh, end of the year 2022. So we are battling inflation. Bathroom costs previous to this used to be like 25 to 30, but things have gotten more expensive. Now, you might be wondering, that is a lot of money. What the heck? This bathroom's tiny. What am I getting for all that? So typically, in a small bathroom that's a full gut, this would include uh, all new shower. So we're taking out the existing shower, taking out the surround, the drywall, sometimes re-insulating the exterior wall there, taking all of that out, taking out the vanity, and oftentimes some of the drywall behind that vanity if we need to reroute plumbing taking out the mirror, all of the lighting fixtures, the toilet, the flooring, potentially some subfloor will be coming out as well if you're on a raised foundation. There's usually water damage in these older tub shower combos, which is why you're probably calling us to remodel. All of that is brand new. And so we're dealing with upwards of 10 to 12 trades in this one small bathroom from demolition all the way to the final touch up paint. With that many trades being performed, it costs a lot. We're not just doing the shower. We're not just doing a new floor. It's from start to finish, the full thing. And that's why the baseline cost is so high for a quality contractor to do the work. In this bathroom transformation, if you don't have $35,000 to do your bathroom, you might be looking at other options. That is where talking to similar sized contracting companies that do similar processes 
is very important. We are a design build firm at KHP. So we have a drafter, we have an engineer and retainer, we have designers, we have a full construction team, right? We are a medium to large size company for our area. You can't call us and then call someone who is his own employee and doing all the work himself and compare prices, right? Our overhead compared to their overhead is not even, even at the scale of projects we're running at the same time. You need to talk to similar contracting companies that are gonna give a similar expectation and end result to you, the homeowner. Someone can do your bathroom for $20,000 or $15,000. Someone can do that. We cannot, and we are not the company built to do that subpar work. So make sure you're talking to the right contractor to fit your budget or just wait and go with the more upper echelon contractor that is proven and has a process and has great references to give you. Another aspect of cost is realizing what you want from this bathroom remodel. If this bathroom remodel is to fix it and then sell the home, you're probably not gonna go with a higher end company that's design build. You're probably wanting the cheaper fix that's cosmetically pleasing and can get it sold quickly. There's also another situation where you might be living in this home and you might have kids or family members and you're looking at staying here for the next five to 15 years. It's what we call a transitionary remodel. That's where you want to spend the money to make it nice and have the longevity of a high quality renovation, but you're not doing any frivolous spending on you know, a $10,000 tub or a $5,000 faucet you're kind of bringing the parameters in. And that's where our baseline, the 35 to $50,000 bathrooms, that's the bulk of them, the five to 15 year bathroom. On the other hand, the forever home is a home that you're looking to do the last remodel it ever needs. And that's where you are spending some higher ticket prices for things that you could get at a lower price, right? That might be a more expensive faucet. It might be the jetted, heated, freestanding tub instead of just the freestanding tub. Usually a little bit higher in finishes, higher price tag. And so when we're talking about price, there's three different categories there that you need to put yourself in a box. If you're looking to sell this home in the near future, do not go with an upper echelon company. It's not the best ROI. If you're gonna live there for five to 15 years, that is kind of the bread and butter of most design build contracting companies. You're gonna get a great quality product and it's gonna appreciate, you're gonna get that ROI in five to 15 years when you sell. If you're staying there forever, do the forever home. Save up the money, do how you want it to look, make it beautiful. It's gonna be not the best ROI, but who cares? It's your last remodel you're ever gonna do. So we've gotten through costs, we've gone through a little bit of process, who you should be looking for in your contractor, how long should this bathroom actually take? And for the three different bathrooms we talked about, there are three different timelines. Now the first one where it's a fix and flip, get it out of the way and sold, typically two weeks or less, because it's mostly cosmetic, we're not really doing any rerouting of plumbing or any type of drains or electrical reroutes. It's very like for like standard cosmetic renovation, two weeks or less. The middle one, the transitionary and the forever home have very similar timelines. Now the transitionary bathroom is gonna have typically three to four week timeline start to finish where the forever home usually has some structural components like rolling in a subfloor for a shower pan or taking out a wall to where the forever home can take a little bit longer, but three to four weeks, upwards to seven weeks for the forever bathroom. That's typically the timeline for these projects. Up to this point, I hope this information is helping you out in your decision-making process. Now I wanna talk about a little bit of KHB's process and how we have tailored our process to benefit you the best. So at KHB, as mentioned previously, we are a design build company. That means we are truly a turnkey renovation company from interior design, architectural, engineering, to fulfillment of the project. We have all the pieces of the puzzle to make it as streamlined as possible for you, the homeowner where it's a simple yes or no answer from the homeowner, a simple signature here, an approval there, and we are starting the project. That is really what we're built around, is efficiency, customer satisfaction, and customer experience and value. And if that all sounds like what you're looking for, I would highly suggest you hop on a phone call with me and my team. We would love to talk to you about your next bathroom remodel in Modesto, talked about some previous projects, maybe give you some referrals in Modesto that we've done projects for, and just kind of get the design process started with you so that your bathroom is exactly how you want it. Fill out our form on our website. It's a get your quote form at kitchenhomeandbath.com, and we'll talk to you soon.